Hi everyone, welcome. It's been a while actually. In today's video, we'll be taking a quick look at the Helium Proof of Coverage version 11 upgrade that should be going live soon on the network. What is POC version 11? POC version 11 is one of the largest functional upgrades to the Helium Proof of Coverage blockchain technology as it provides a significant upgrade in data available for blockchain participants. Hotspot owners are enforced to follow regulations in their local areas. So what are the major changes we're actually talking about here? 1. Regional Web Blockchain Previously, POC used global values for maximum radiated power. However, POC version 11 will introduce the addition of region-specific limits. It can now be set individually for the US and the EU regions. Regional radiated power is used to estimate your antenna's radiated output power. 2. Witness validation. Once POC version 11 is activated, the blockchain will consider asserted antenna gain when calculating signal loss and making validation decisions. In some regions, the transmit power will be reduced to comply with the local limits. For example, in the US, the maximum radiated power is 36 dBm and the hardware is able to transmit at 27 dBm. If you are using a 9 dBi antenna, you can assert it without any transmission power loss. In the EU, where the radiated power limit is 16.5 dBm, a 5.8 dBi antenna could de decrease the power output of a hotspot to 10.7 dBm to ensure that it falls with the 16.5 dBm limit. I am not entirely sure what the impact of this POC version 11 will have on witness count and the rewards per hotspot after the changes, but it should help with the location spoofing that some hotspots are currently exploiting on the network. It is in your best interest to accurately set your antenna gains and having as having a value of zero will mean a gain of 1.2 dBi is assumed when validating witness transmission. So what do you need to do? 1. Ensure your hotspot is asserted in the correct location. If you have asserted your hotspot some meters away from its current location so as not to be too close to your neighbor, POC version 11 may affect you. Remember, location updates cost about $10 in fees for each node. 2. Assert your antenna gain. It is vital that you set the correct antenna gain, a value between 1 and 15 dBi. Part of POC version 11 is ensuring that your transmission power can be scaled according to different regulations in place in your region. You may also choose to specify the antenna height. The current implementation will not rely on this information. However, it will most likely be available in the future. Antenna range is not affected by the elevation. The fee for both the antenna height and gain is about 55 cents. And finally, encourage the community to set the correct parameters. It is important to spot on fellow hotspot owners to update location and antenna gains. Remember, POC event has three parties, the challenger, the challengee, and the witnesses. If the challengee has an incorrect antenna location or gain, the chain make, may make incorrect assumptions of these values and penalize the witness for hearing a beacon that would have been otherwise been impossible. In many ways, this is a two-way street. Proof of coverage works best when all the players provide the network with good quality data. And to wrap it all up, to ensure you are ready for one of the largest upcoming proof of coverage changes, ensure you have asserted your hotspot in the correct location, asserted your antenna gain 
else it uses the default 1.2 db again and also encourage people to do the same on the network that's all from me today thanks for watching and have a good day happy mining